Welcome back to another episode of Day in the Life with Mike Intelligence. Today I'm here with my partner Kat. Hi everyone. And my wonderful friend Alyssa. Alyssa, do you mind giving us a little bit of an intro about yourself and what you are doing? So my name is Alyssa and right now I'm working full-time at Scotiabank within the fraud team which is pretty cool. So I'm working as a senior analyst, so I'm helping out with some fraud investigation stuff. Cool, that sounds really cool. Can you tell us a bit more about what you mean by fraud investigation stuff? Basically what I'm doing, whether it's individuals or businesses, whenever they're victims of fraud, whether it's credit card fraud or identity theft, we basically will reimburse them for the for the amount that was taken from them as long as we have adequate proof that the fraud they were victim of wasn't their own fault and that it was just someone who ended up taking advantage of them so we deal with figuring out what's going on with different clients and then reimbursing them accordingly if that's applicable definitely different from what we've had previously could you describe what basically your day looks like so because I'm an intern, I'm uh, there's claims analyst and then there's senior claims analyst. So I'm a senior claims analyst. And what that means is that I'm being trained on all these different platforms. So I'm pretty much learning everything within my fraud team. So every week is actually different for me. So I'm doing a new, I'm learning a new skill every week. This week has been mostly collecting the information from documents that businesses or individuals will send in proof that their credit card or whatever it is has been compromised. So I've been sort of compiling that for other people to then sifting through and reimbursing where is applicable. So I think I'm doing like one step of the process per week. So that's like step one is compiling the documents. And then I think next week I'll be one of the people sifting through it. Last week was mostly just onboarding stuff because a lot of technical difficulties, especially when my manager and the IT team, are none of them are in the office right now. So Cool. So can you tell us a little bit about something that you would do specifically in the morning? Or is it that all day you compile these documents? Actually pretty flexible because I'm quite a bit faster at what I'm doing than the other new hires. So I have a lot more free time in my day and I spend a lot of that free time doing networking because I'm trying to get into sales and trading. Half of my day, I want to say, has been compiling those documents. The other half has been training with other people on the team and also networking within uh, sales and trading at Scotiabank. So mostly I am looking more so on the FX desk and the fixed income desk. So I've mostly been chatting with uh, people on those two desks, but obviously I will take whatever I can get (laughs) for sales and trading and I'm willing to learn whatever. But yeah, so most of my day is compiling those documents but a lot of it is also we have team huddles there have been like some orientation events things like that so a lot of miscellaneous things throughout the day as well what's something that you don't necessarily like about this job that has made you want to switch into ST well I don't really see myself in operations job it's very sort of technical administrative work so i'm the kind of person i need to be like kept on my toes and constantly given new things to work on and i think snt is the perfect place for that and the more and more i chat with people the more i realize that i kind of have a personality type that fits snt today i was chatting with an associate on the fx desk and she was like yeah like if you're super super detail oriented and meticulous this is not the job for you and i was like (laughs) so it's like just making decisions fast-paced decisions under pressure I tend to do a lot better under pressure I figured that that is definitely a place that I want to get some experience and also an incredible opportunity to learn in sales and trading no matter where you are so I figured that's at least where I want to start my career maybe end it we'll see but I know that step one is sales and trading yeah, sales and trading, especially at Scotia Bank, is amazing. I had a really good experience there. So can you tell me a bit about the hours that you're currently working? Is it a nine to five or is it really long? Well, it's set hours. So they say you can work whenever you want, pretty much as long as you have an eight hour shift. So you could do 10 to six if you wanted, nine to five, but I'm doing eight to four just because it makes me get out of bed and get on with my day and I get out a little bit earlier. So eight to four is the one I went for, but it's very like, you're in right at eight and you're done right at four. What is something that you like about this position? I like the amount of extra time I have because like I'm trying to get into sales and trading and 
I knew that like coming here networking once you're internal is way, way easier. So I wanted to take, take advantage of that as much as I could. So I really like the fact that I have some extra time in my day to get that kind of stuff done and that my boss is chill with me leaving my desk and going and taking calls every now and then. Awesome. Sounds really flexible. So our last question for you is, can you tell us one personality trait that you think someone who's in working at the fraud desk, I guess, in Scotiabank would need to have? I'd say patience. <laughs> Some of the clients, because when they're victims of fraud, they can get quite stressed out and angry or whatever negative emotion they may um, be feeling. A lot of the time it'll be projected onto you. So I'd say patience is the biggest thing because you can deal with clients in a very polite and timely manner and sort of reassure them that everything's going to be fine and they're going to get their money back. And if not, then whatever steps are required for them to resolve the issue are outlined for them. So it's, it's mostly just, I'd say, patience. Yeah. Thank you very much, Alyssa. This is really interesting. I'm so great hearing what you're doing now. And we wish you all the best in getting that S&T role. Maybe we'll talk to you then again. Guys, make sure to check out Alyssa's Land the Job video. Where she talks about all of her recruitment journey. And, and we hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day. You too.